The president of the ECOWAS Commission says the presence of partners here, of key development partners here, sends a strong message about the importance they accord to the integration of West Africa. Now, the 12th dialogue, this 12th dialogue seeks to strengthen the cooperation with partners and take stock of the partnership. Of course, one key uh, arm of that partnership is the economy, the economy of the West African sub-region. Intra-regional trade stands about uh, $15 billion, and that is way too low when you compare it with trade with Europe, which is at about $67 billion. And this, the Equals Commission President says, has to change. Tied to this issue of currency is the application of Morocco. The King of Morocco has promised that the Moroccan dirhams will cease to exist if uh, the country is admitted into ECOWAS. Now, while that debate rages on, the uh, president of the ECOWAS Commission says no decision will be taken on that until the heads of state and government of the ECOWAS sub-region uh, meet in December. So we just have to wait and see what the final decision on that is. So what has been the response of key development partners like the EU? Here is what the EU uh, head of delegation of the EU to Nigeria and ECOWAS had to say. Finding solutions together is what makes us stronger. This is certainly the case when addressing security challenges, impacting the very same integration process that is so vital to overcome these same challenges. The UN resident uh, humanitarian coordinator for Nigeria, Edward Kalon, said the UN will continue to scale up its partnership with ECOWAS. We at the United Nations consider ECOWAS Commission as a strategic partner in promoting values of good governance, human rights, peace and stability, and progressive attainment of regional integration in the West Africa sub-region. From the federal capital, Shegojumu, STV News.